Guys, I don't know if you realize this, but I love food. There were ribs, there were mashed potatoes, there were meatballs, there was lasagna, there was enchiladas, chicken, and there were proper pies, and there was a spinach baked guy. <laughs> and I was going for the food, really. Because, well, it's me. I just like eat everything. Street food. <gasps> Guys. Hi! Happy Friday. Ah, just got back from my uh, work. Street food. <gasps> Guys, these are pork strips, deep fried. Real fried. So good. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, Karibu Sana. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. No. My Fridays are always um quite busy. Anyways, I just got back and I discovered something yesterday that I'm really excited about <laughs> that I wanted to share. Um, this is sticky rice. For those who don't know, this is the Ugali of Thailand. You eat this with like stew or whatever. Yeah. So I'm eating it with the, the beef, um, not the pork um, strips. Anyways, um, I mean, I've always known this. Like where to get deals, like grocery deals. If you if you go to like a grocery shop or to the supermarket, when they're almost closing, you're going to get deals. <laughs> they always mark down like perishable food. Most food. Yeah, well, perishable food. You know, because they need to sell like fresh stuff. Okay, so if like the banana is a bit overly ripe, they will mark it down. Yeah? And it's not the stuff that I've, go, I've gone bad. It's like legit, like um, proper stuff. They just cannot sell it. So I realized that, like I knew Tesco did that. I knew Big C did that. But I didn't know Tops did it. So I went to Tops yesterday and like they had marked stuff. You know, like my colleagues told me. Yeah, they, they told me. And I was going for the food, really. <laughs> Because the tops near me, they have like a daily, well, no, not a daily, well, is it a daily? Like they have a restaurant within tops, you know, like within the supermarket itself, and they serve like really nice food. They serve like Italian food, they serve um, Thai food, I don't know if they serve um, English food as well, because actually I think they do, because there they were, they were ribs as well, there, was, there were ribs. There were mashed potatoes, there were meatballs, there was lasagna, there was enchiladas, there were chicken, and um, there were proper pies, and there was a spinach baked guy. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if you realize this, but I love food. <laughs> I love it. But anyways, they mark down that stuff when it's almost time to close. So this is a hack that I feel like you should thank me for. <laughs> Go to talk. Um, when they're almost done closing for me that is between 7 and 7 30 they will have deals for you let me show you what i got i mean i ate the stuff that i got some of the stuff that i got yesterday because well it's me i just like eat everything all the time like now this is my starter after this i'm going to quickly run errands and this is like the the, the other thing about thailand eh? Things don't close that early. Like there are markets that open, like uh, start operating from now like 7 p.m. Um, like uh, fresh, fresh, uh, fresh veggie market, guys. I, yeah, I don't know what you might be thinking, but it's not that, okay? Well, that also opens at that time. No, actually, not even. Anyways, let me stop this story right now. <laughs> well, this thing that I'm talking about right now, but I'm talking about legit. Um fresh veggie market that open at like 7 p.m. and they run I think um, till late at night like that's it that's as I was saying that's the beauty of Thailand there are also night markets that um, open in the evening and run till late where you can go shop for actual clothes or like stuff that you buy at the market so anyway as I was telling you I'm going to show you what I'm what is left of what I got yesterday mm. hmm my dinner the enchilada can you see guys 
chicken so they have like salsa for me and they have another sauce here i cannot wait to eat this enchilada but i am a bit worried because the lasagna wasn't like it wasn't the best okay it wasn't really the best but it looks nice and i'm gonna i haven't had an enchilada in a very long time so i think i'm gonna like it and then the other thing i got was um mushrooms how much did they get this one for it was marked down to what? <laughs> but it was in the March dollars section. Okay, it's a fungal organic white bats and mushroom. 200 grams. I don't know how. <laughs> but it was in the March down. I love mushrooms, so yeah. The rest of the stuff that I got, I ate. Go to Tesco, Big C, or Macro. When they're almost closing, you'll get like groceries marked down. There is a hack that I forgot to tell you guys about. I, I don't know how I did. But anyway, normally, when there's a chain of um, like a, a supermarket chain, whatever, for me, I normally try my, my, my best to get like a cart. Like, this was how I survived as a student. <laughs> I was big on cards, like I always got cards from supermarkets, got loyalty cards everywhere guys. Such that, when I was broke at school, you can redeem the points and get things guys. So this, this has also stuck with me until today, until like today, yes. I always have cards, let me show you, uh, no not this one, yeah, one, two, mm -hmm. Three. I'll show you the cards and I feel like this is a good hack because I get such good discounts when I go to tops or a place with uh, where they use the one card they always ask you yeah have three cards not three five <laughs> five cards this one is from boots this is where sometimes I, do, I rarely go this uh, to boots these days but if I want like um, beauty products or uh, toiletries I used to go to boots so I have points on here yeah points that I can actually redeem and get something from and then this is like where I shop for my uh, toiletries at Watson's now I've used this for a very long time for a very very long time ever since I started saying by myself you know I use this and I have I've accumulated quite a number of points as well okay and then MasterCard for like the department stores this too this is an expert sheet card I, I just have to get it. I don't usually shop at these uh, stores as often, guys. At the department stores. You know, but like, no, I actually realized that if you go to Central and uh, like the, the open area, when you buy something there, you can use this card and accumulate points. And then there's a the True, because I use True, you can get uh, uh, discounts from this. But this is the OG, guys. <laughs> this is the OG. You need to get this, uh, this card, the one card. You get discounts at, uh, at Tops. You know, like, let me show you what else I got. I forgot. I got these. I got a uh, yellow, yellow, yes, yellow curry paste. I got this yellow curry paste. And I also got this Massiman because I love Massiman curry. Yeah, the Massiman uh, paste. So I'm going to be cooking with these soon. I got 90 off each, um, 90 off of these. Okay. I did, no, did I get 90 off? I think I got. Like I got quite a big deal, a good deal because I have the one card. The one card is very important, guys. When you go to Central, anywhere in Central, you can use the one card. If you go to Central Embassy as well, this is for the rich people, guys. Central Embassy. <laughs> if you go to Central, a Central Embassy to shop, you can get there. You can get that. Also, Ryan Ascent. Ryan Ascent? I don't know what that is, guys. Clearly, I, yeah, I don't know. Then there's Zen as well. You can shop at Zen with them. They get discount. There's Robinson's, there's B2B for your, uh, uh, not cutlery, <laughs> for your stationery. And then there is Tops. There's Tops Superstore. I don't know what this. Tops Daily. I think like one of those express, uh, small express uh, shops, whatever. Then there's Office Mate as well. There's Family Mart. I didn't know I could use this as Family Mart. And all the centrals. So this is very important, guys. It gets me a lot of uh, discounts. Anyways, that's, uh, that's about all the... Add the 
hacks that I wanted to tell you guys about. Okay. Oh, also super sport. If you're like a sporty person, I first got this at uh, super sport actually. Anyways, thank you so much for coming and I'll see you next time. Bye.